Oh, shh. What the f Oh, no, 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 no. No! What the hell? Okay, Tim. Um, fake. Um, um, super glue. Maybe I can super glue my eyebrow back. Oh, dear God. We don't have any super glue. I can't go to school like this. Now, um, bugging. Peer pressure. A feeling that one must do the same thing as other people of one's age and social group in order to be liked or respected by them. Simply put, every kid wants to be cool. See, being cool means you fit in. Everyone loves you, you're finally accepted, and don't we all need that love? But there's a thin line between love and that Wow, but I feel you, damn Tim, forget that love. I need that clout, and I feel you, but trust me, been there, done that. But times have changed, I'm a little older, I don't give two webs about that clout. But when I was younger, your boy fell for the spell just like you. See, I wanted to be that kid. That kid with all the shorties, that kid that all the homies looked up to. See, as kids get older, they start caring about what other people think of them, thereby dismissing what they learned from their parents. Come on, my guy, you know the feeling? You go from adoring your parents your whole life to one day you start finding your parents to be embarrassing. Hey, son, you wanna go fishing with your old man? Uh, fishing? Sorry, pops, I got a date with this cute girl. Oh, well, what about next week? Ah, uh, sorry, can't do it, I got basketball practice. Well, just let me know when you can. Be safe out there. See, a teenager only cares about one thing, his image. And by image, we're talking wearing the freshest name brand clothes, rocking the newest kicks, and of course, following the latest trends on social media. And that, my guy, is where this story begins. So for this story, I'm gonna take you back, back to my teenage years. So it was a beautiful Saturday morning. Now, just like usual, my dad will take me to the barber shop on the weekends and give your boy that ball cut. But see, here's the thing. See, I was now a teenager. All of a sudden, I cared about other people's perception of me. And I sure as hell wasn't rocking a ball cut to my school any longer. Oh, hell no. So right before leaving for the barber shop, I went to my dad. Hey, Pops, I don't want to go to the barber shop. Why not? See, I knew my dad wasn't gonna let me slide unless I hit him where it hurts the most. His pockets. See, I was thinking, right? Since haircuts are getting expensive, maybe I should start cutting my own hair? Now, if there's one thing about black African parents, it's they don't like spending their own money. Oh, son, that's a great idea. So as expected, my pops takes me to the local whack mart. We get there, get to the black aisle. <laughs> and for my people, y'all know the black aisle. The one out in the whole store that consists of all the black people's products. We talking do-rags, bonnets, escrow creams, and everyone's favorite extra large love gloves. You dig? Now for the uninitiated, let me put you on game when it comes to clippers. First thing first, you always want to purchase the best clippers for the best results. Trust me you get what you pay for. So I started looking. Now on the left side of the shelf was the top tier clipper going for a mere $50. And next to it, the no name brand having $10 clippers. So just like the G that I am, I go for the $50 box. Son, what are you doing? Pops, this the best clippers. For $50? Well, you better put that back. It does the same thing as a $10 machine. Now I really wanted to say, look, broke ass, Okay, now I will never say that, at least not to my dad's face. So kids, don't try this at home, but I sure was thinking it. So onward, we get to the crib, I get to the bathroom and start preparing for my first fresh cut. Now when it comes to cutting your own hair, you need practice. Lots and lots of practice. Kind of like riding a bike for the first time. You don't just hop on a bike and you're ready to go. Oh, no. You need repetition. But of course, young teenage Tim wasn't feeling all that practice talk. I was ready for this trip. Okay, Tim, how hard could it be? Just turn on the machine, press it against the hair, and you're good. Hold up, maybe I should start with my eyebrows first. Now first, let me expound on an important detail. See, when I was young, hair parts, AKA splits, were considered cool. You could either rock the corner part, the half moon split, or the famous racing stripes. Now all that was cool and all, but you know what was better? What gave you that drip? The eyebrow splits. Simply cutting your eyebrows right down the middle. Why? Just because. So I started thinking. 
you know what? I'm going to get a fresh fade and split my eyebrows at the same damn time. Damn time. You going to be that kid. So I get the machine, laid against my eyebrow, and started going for the cut. Now you got to remember, these were the cheapest clippers one could buy. Meaning, they vibrated vigorously. And of course, your boy didn't know that. So I hit the start button and... Oh, sh... What the f***? Oh, no, 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 no! What the hell? Okay, Tim, um, fake, um, um, super glue. Maybe I can super glue my eyebrow back. Oh, dear God, we don't have any super glue. I can't go to school like this. Now, um, buggy. No, I'm sure by now, you know, your boy had no other choice but to rock a faded eyebrow all the way to school for at least the next couple of months. But then, an idea came to mind. Oh, sh, I know what could work. Mom's makeup. See, my mom used eyeliner pencils to make her eyebrows look darker. So, my guy, I'm going to ask you one more time. What would you do? A, go to school with a faded eyebrow and get slayed. Or B, use your mom's eyeliner makeup to cover your brow. As for your boy, this was an easy decision. So, I got to my parents' room, picked up my mom's black pencil, got to my bedroom, and started practicing how to use makeup. Okay, Tim, the eyeliner's black. I'm black. So, how hard could it be? Just draw the eyebrow and no one would notice the difference. So I started tracing my eyebrow one shade at a time. Oh God, please let this work. Then I finished it. Looked in the mirror and f my s looked like I had permanent surprise on my face. Oh no, it's not working. Oh, I'm gonna get killed at school. And it was at this moment that I knew I fucked up. So fast forward and it's Monday. So I get to the school bus. But of course, my scully pulled down over my eyebrow. Yo Tim, why you got the scully on? It's summer, kid. Nah, fam. Just a little swag, you feel me? Oh, damn, Tim, what the happened to your eyebrow, kid? That's right, your boy had to rock half an eyebrow for weeks until my hair grew back. So, moral of the story. Never try to fit in because you were born to stand out. What's up, world? Thank you for joining your boy for another video. This week we got a special shout out for real. Now if you didn't know, YouTube's been bugging. Deleted my man's Devontae's channel after grinding for years. And sadly to say, that homie has to start all over from the bottom. But not if we got something to say about it. Now just in case you didn't know, making quality animation is one of the hardest content to make on YouTube. Takes us hours and hours and hours to make. So if you like great animations just like your boy's channel, go ahead and show Devonte some love and subscribe to his new channel called Devonte The One Reloaded. Link is under the vid. Keep your head up my G. And as always, thank you for supporting your boy. I surely don't take it for granted. So see you on the next one and live timeless.